Hi there, this is your friend Vrendra Diyar on the rock, you can see all around rock I am at the top of a hill and you will ask why I am at the top of the hill because if you want to really elevate yourself reach any great glory, name, fame, love, fame and fortune you have to raise your level of intelligence stimulate your intelligence take full possession of your mind and then you will be having the capability, the power and the ability to take full possession of anything and everything on this planet Earth. Everything is the creation of the imaginative faculty of the brain and idea can change your world. That's why, beloved friends, I come to the nature and I try to learn from nature how nature works, the natural laws and I always follow the law of nature. I never deviate from the law of nature and if you see that I am really able to communicate my feelings and thoughts to you it is just because it is just because the power of the nature I am nothing my power is coming from nature mother nature is giving me all the strength beloved friends I can really assure you that you will be what you will to be but simply you have to believe in the real power of your brain whatever the brain can conceive and believe the brain has the power to achieve that is the starting point of getting success and attaining any height in your life Dr. Napoleon Hill started with this only when he started lecturing the law of success principle whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can really achieve for you that is a fundamental truth and you really believe it and really act on that very principles the mind has a tremendous ability and in your imaginative faculty of brain you can really think about it you will get ideas but one idea can really transform your earth that's, that's why Napoleon Hill got an idea to write success principles and with the mastermind alliance of Andrew Carnegie he become immortal he wrote the law of success and think and grow rich so you also can have really success in life means the progressive realization of the worthy ideals in your life just by having some noble ideas okay so what is that which you will use to become what you want to be and to think and become what you want to be and to reach any goal, altitude in life where you want to go depend on your power of the brain. James Allen said mind is the master power that molds and max mind is the master power that molds and max and man is mind and even more he takes the tools of thought and shaping what he wills bring forth thousand joys and thousand ills man thinks in secret but it comes to pass and environment is but his looking glass beloved friends the message is very clear the thought in the mind has made us what we are was wrought and built by the thought we endured in our mind. So thought, Dr. Napoleon had also said, truly thoughts are things and powerful things are that. When they are mixed with definitions of purpose, persistence and burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. So it is the power of thought. What you think, that you become. We become what we think about. The a lot of great philosophers, thinkers, wise men, poets, they have always reminded mankind that with positive mental attitude you can attain anything and everything on earth by following the principle of success that is to have a definite purpose in life backed by a practical plan of action burning desire and continual 
action towards the attainment of your goal, having tremendous belief and faith in yourself, and also faith in the Master Mind Alliance partners, and always willing to go extra mile, means doing much more than expectations of anyone. Because the world is very competitive. Survival of the fittest. If you are fit, then only you can survive. Because nature, mother, never helps. The people who are inefficient, inactive, they will be beaten in their lives and they will be just miserable in their life. So we have to have energy, enthusiasm, determination, daring, purpose, goals, ideals, vision, promises. And we have to work, work, work with tremendous belief and faith in our life. Our purpose, backed by prayer, will become reality. That's the reason you see the world is full of so many great people. And then the lives of these great men will remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sense of time. Yes! Why don't you understand that we are not permanent here? We are just a temporary existence on the surface of the earth under the sun. A time will come when we shall leave this earth and we are just an actor and the world is a stage. So we must be very, very careful to spend every moment of our life. That is called budgeting time, money and energy. Everything has to be spent very cautiously, very efficiently and very effectively. You may be really facing walls of granite, adversities, misfortune, disadvantages, difficulties, hindrances, impediments, because that is the price, that is the testing time for everyone. And if you are really coming flying color and paying the proper price, you will be the great, you will be an example of others, and you will really serve the mankind. Because that is the ultimate aim of life. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the very purpose of your life is not to live like animals, just being happy, but to be serviceable, to be honorable and respectable, to win the respect of the intelligent people, to earn the appreciation of the honest critic, to endure the betrayals of the false friend, and earn the affection of the children, appreciate beauty, and find the best in others, and leave the world a bit better than a healthy child, a garden patch, or redeemed social conditions. And to know that at least one life has breathed easier that you have lived, that has really conveying a message that you have succeeded. Be honorable, be respectable. Never underestimate yourself. The greatest people on this planet Earth have used only just 9 to 10 percent of the power of intelligence. All are born great, but unfortunately, they do not know where they are going. They are just like a ship without rudder, without direction, without destination without pilot, without crew members. So they are bound to be derelict. They are bound to some accident, accidents in life. So there are millions and millions of people just surviving. But there are very few select. Certain percentage of the people are only great. They have made the earth so advanced, civilized, scientifically, spiritually, intellectually. We owe to their contribution. And we can also add our contribution and make the planet more smart, worth living. The purpose should be to really be successful and make millions more successful. Spread the message of peace, love and non-violence. Always follow the path of truth and justice. And remember it. You will be what you will to be. There is no limitation. The only limitation you put is that of your own, own limitation. God has made you as great as anyone else on this planet Earth. And so that has been put in a beautiful poem, Ways. I bargained with life for a pain, penny. I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay no more. 
However, I begged in the evening when I counted my scanty store. Life is an implier. It gives you what you ask. But once you have set the ways, why? You must bear the task. I work for a menial hire, only to learn dismayed. Any ways I could have acts of life, life would have willingly paid. Aim high, dream big, persevere, persist, and you can attain any great thing in your life. There is no doubt. You will be what you will to be. Always remember it. You will become what you think about. Think great. Think success. Think health. Think happiness. Your mind can accommodate only one idea at a time. Either it is a positive mental attitude mind or a negative mental attitude mind. To be successful in life, your mind has to be always optimistic, courageous, believing, persevering, persisting. Always great thoughts. Focus your mind on what you want and repel all the thoughts which is negative and detrimental to your growth and prosperity. Just dwell on the thought of love, the thought of purity, the thought of justice, the thought of serenity, the thought of joys, happiness, success and growth. May God bless you and I thank you very much for being a partner in my journey towards greatness. Thank you.